Hello, this is Pastor Scott Cruz from The Rock meeting every Sunday at West Acres Cinema at 10 a.m. This is The Deeper Rock. Our reading today is Luke chapter 15 verses 11 through 23 and we have here the story of the prodigal son. This story preaches so many ways, so many good ways and we're going to look at it a little bit different today than maybe you've looked at it in the past. Verse 16, the young man became so hungry that even the pods that he was feeding the pigs looked good to him but no one gave him anything. No one gave him anything. Verse 17, Then he finally came to his senses, and he said to himself, At home, even the hired servants have food enough to spare, and I am out here dying of hunger. I will go home to my father and say, Father, I have sinned against both heaven and you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Please take me in as your servant. Here's what we want to look at. Number one, there are some things that the father did not do. He did not hound or chase his son. He could have packed up and he could have gone and he could have chased after his son and hounded him till he came home. No, the father gave the son the inheritance and gave him the freedom to make his own mistakes and to go out there and create all the problems. And that's what God does with us. And actually, this is, a, a, you know, this is how God handles us. Number two, the father did not relieve the son's pain. The father could have gone out and given the son food. Well, I don't want you to be hungry. Let me give this to you. I don't want you to have to work so hard, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you some allowance and, and let you do this. He did not relieve the son's pain. I believe that sometimes we get in God's way. God wants to deal with somebody in their life. God wants to do something in somebody's life. And we swoop in and we relieve the discomfort in their lives because we love the people. This, this father loved his son. And it hurts us to see our children, to see our loved ones go through pain. But there are times, and we need to be prayerful and we need to use wisdom, but there are times when I believe that we swoop in and we relieve discomfort while the person is still making bad decisions. Let me tell you this, if there is no reason to change, people don't change. And if we get in God's way, the natural scheme of things hurts and if we swoop in and relieve that pain, no change will come, and that pain is going to last much, much longer. Sin should hurt, otherwise why, why, keep sin, why, why quit sinning? And so use wisdom and try not to get in God's way when he's trying to move somebody closer to himself. And third, uh, he didn't, the father didn't tell the son it was okay. He didn't try to console the son and make him feel better. The father let him be out there with the pigs. But what the father did do, and this is awesome, the son goes out, he comes to this revelation finally, and this father is waiting for the son to come home. And the son comes over the hill, and the father runs out to meet him, my son. And the son says what he says, and the father wraps his arms around him. The people in our lives need a safe place to land. And so even though we shouldn't swoop in and relieve their pain. Even though we shouldn't coddle them and, and, and make them feel comfortable in their bad decisions. But likewise, when they turn to make good decisions, there's always a place for you here at home. I hope The Rock can be a church that is a safe place to land, where people can come as they are, even if they're broken, even if they're messed up. And, and it's not that we're going to nod and say sin is okay. It's never what we're going to do. But... We want to be a place of unconditional love that walks in humility and says, by the grace of God, go I, and this is always going to be a safe place for you. You will always be loved here. We're not going to say your sin is okay. We're not going to swoop in and get in God's way and relieve pain when sin is causing pain. But you're safe here. May the Lord richly bless you, and I hope to see you in church on Sunday.